What is going on guys? So today we've got a pretty busy day planned. Today I'm going to be fixing an issue that's been going on, on my Lexus pretty much the entire time since I put the spacers on and that is rubbing. So as you guys can see, I'm fucking dumped and my tire likes to rub on my fender pretty fucking hard, especially because the coils that I have on it, the max speeding rods, are pretty soft actually, surprisingly. And anytime I go over a bump, they'll fucking just bottom out and I'll have all kinds of scraping noises going on. So today I'm going to go to Soda's house and get the fender roller so I can go ahead and get my fenders rolled. That should pretty much eliminate the problem, but it depends on how low I end up going. Hopefully once I get wheels, that won't be an issue though. Then I think I'm going to go to the paint store and get some paint for next week's project, which is going to be amazing. It has to do with the IS. I haven't told you guys what it is yet, but let me know what your guesses are down in the comments. And tomorrow I have the glass guy come in so that he can take all of the glass out of the Eclipse so that I can go ahead and finish the bodywork on it and get it actually ready for paint. So with that being said, let's get on the way to Soda's house, let's get that fender roller and let's get to work. Alright guys, here we are. Looks like Soda got some new parts. What'd you get, boy? First of all, we're gonna need to do some work because uh, we they sent me the wrong one. They sent me an Altezza one and this is a fake IS300. So there's nothing changed with the JDM Altezza I was broken around. Oh okay. The fucking rear wing lift finally came in. This is a katana spoiler. Cost about three hundred dollars and took about eight months. <laughs> eight months to I get in. I bought this before I had the car. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna look sick. It's already, uh, for the most part, made, shaped really well. Yeah, it's actually it's I pretty think nice. Primer, sand down paint is good. There's a few pinholes I'd want to fill beforehand. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Where's this pinhole at? Right here. Yeah. Overall, I mean, the shape. But I mean, like, no, it, it looks good. Kind of rolls right here, bud. Nice, nice. You got the goods. You want to see what happens to the old uh, uh, legacy? Yeah. Oh, fuck. So Dude. what I'm guessing happened is uh, they caught air. They're trying to rally it like idiots. <laughs> Stock legacy out there. They're trying to rally it. They caught air and when they land, the front suspension just. This <laughs> is just for like two seconds. Now you're driving like that, aren't you? <laughs> Get that TJ Hunt double decker wing going. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's gonna look fucking sick. Once I do the video of the install, I'll put a link to this actually uh, particular one because. No, I don't see a lot of people rolling with them. Yeah. But we'll get a link for that. But uh, next video is gonna be install of this, maybe paint work first, and then install. But this is gonna make it fun. Yeah. Well, all right. I think I'm gonna fucking take this shit and get to work. See you guys in a little bit. So we got the fender roller. I think I'm gonna go to the paint store, get some paint. I'm gonna go to Lowe's, get some other stuff, and then maybe get some coffee, and we'll get started. At the paint place. Just got the order put in for my paint, and then we should be good to come get it tomorrow. So I think that now it's time to go to Lowe's, and we can actually start getting to work on the car. Dude, this, this day has turned into just a bunch of running around doing a bunch of stupid shit. But it's all leading up to some crazy shit. So I hope you guys are stoked. All right, so first thing that I need to roll my fenders is to get my car jacked up. And if you guys remember me putting on the coilovers, that's gonna be kind of an issue because the car is fucking dumped. So, I have a solution. It's this motherfucker. I got big old two by six from Lowe's, a uh, little four foot section. That can be used as ramps. The only issue is that it's really fucking long. I only have one of them and I don't necessarily have a good way of cutting it. So, I think the only thing that I have as far as wood cutting goes is this little guy which is definitely not made for this but it should work right try a fucking Jackie Chan kick it to fucking finish it fucking one of these guys one of these guys one of those motherfuck that hurt no, I can't. You gotta bleed. You gotta bleed. I got it. 
it's not the cleanest, but whatever. Man, shout out to anybody that cuts wood for a living. This shit sucks ass. There. It's like nothing even happened. That's one piece of wood. All right, so this is one last look at the Eclipse before the glass guy gets here and takes all the glass out of it. So next time you guys see this thing, all of the windows will be out of it and it should be ready for some serious fucking body work. It is official. The Eclipse doesn't have any windows and this is honestly, <laughs> it feels weird. It makes, it makes this entire project feel real now because look at that. That is completely stripped. Bare chassis pretty much at this point. Yeah, I've, I've got a lot more work to do on this thing and now I can actually start doing a little bit more of it, a little more in depth. The nice thing is that now I'll be able to actually get paint into all these sections that I would have to mask off and probably end up with shitty tape lines if I just painted it with the windows in. However, that's not gonna be the case. I'm not gonna let that be the case because you guys know how fucking extra I am about this shit. I can't just leave little shit like that unattended. So, we've got all the glass out. I can finally start working on all of this stuff. And I'm kind of glad because there is a little bit of rust developing in some of these spots under the glass, which I can actually tend to now. That's awesome. So, I've got my glass up here just waiting for all the bodywork to be done, all the paint to be done, and then it can be put back in. And we're getting some fucking work done, boys. We are one step closer to actually making this something. The only thing that kind of sucks is that the windshield wasn't able to be taken out without kind of pretty much destroying it, which I already knew that that was gonna be a possibility and I accepted it. The windshields on these aren't too hard to find, so it's not that big of a deal. But what kind of sucks is the fact that my entire checklist is fucking gone now, but whatever. I've got it saved in the videos, so we can we can always make a new one. But for now, I think I'm gonna start working on the IS because I do need to get those fenders rolled so that I don't just completely wear through my tires. guys that don't know what we're gonna be doing today is rolling the fenders so pretty much mo the way that most fenders work is they are just this folded piece of metal that is just spot welded together it's a few different layers now you can see that's just one layer or a few layers of sheet metal right there so what we can do is actually fold this over onto itself inside to make sure that the tire doesn't actually come in contact with the fender. Now that's gonna help make sure that we don't scrape on the fender at all and make sure that we don't like wear the tire out in any sort of weird way. And it's gonna make sure, hopefully, that we don't have any more of that god awful noise when we go over bumps. <laughs> now to do that, what we need is this tool right over here that is a fender roller pretty much we're going to bolt that onto the hub and then the wheel is going to be the thing that's going to be rolling the fender over now before i do that though i do want to clean the top side of that lip to make sure that there's no dirt and all that kind of shit in there because that will probably show through and there's just no reason to leave the dirt in there so i'm going to go ahead and clean that up with probably like some rags and stuff and then we'll get into actually rolling the fenders Oh yeah, there's all kinds of schmoo in here. Look at all that trash that just came out of there. That's after I scraped it all out with the screwdriver. So I got one side done. It's starting to fucking rain, dude. Oh god, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I'll show you guys the finished result. 
pretty much knife edge on that fucking fender. You guys can see that. It's pretty much completely flat up against the outside of the fender. So I'm stoked about that. That should get rid of most of my rubbing issue, hopefully. I'm gonna put the camera down because it's raining pretty bad. I'm gonna finish the other one off camera and uh, let you know how it goes. All right, so before I throw the wheels on, I'll show you that one nice and fucking sharp also. Luckily it stopped raining because it was getting cold and wet there for a second and I was not happy. So I'm gonna throw wheels on and let's get this thing on the road. All right, boys, she is on the ground and it's looking pretty nice. Like honestly, I don't think that that tire is gonna come in contact with fender anymore. Even on a pretty good bump, it's nice and slanted. So hopefully, I won't have any rubbing in the rear anymore. It's been kind of a big problem. And honestly, I think I think this should take care of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna go pick up the paint that I ordered yesterday. I'll show you guys what I got. It's pretty fucking exciting. I'm stuck for what's gonna happen with it. But yeah, the rolling is done. Let's see if this thing actually rubs. All right, so everything's back together. We're in the car on the way to the paint store and I wanna see if this thing's gonna rub. So I'm gonna take it over some, uh, I'm not gonna say gnarly bumps, but definitely some bumps that it definitely would have fucking rubbed beforehand. So let's see what it does. See, this is the shit about the Pacific Northwest. Like everybody says it's all beautiful and shit, but 90% of the fucking year, it's this. You can't see shit. Like, yeah, there are trees, but what the fuck? This weather's ass. I just want some sun, please. I need to work on my cars, I want some sun. I'm not hearing any rubbing. I honestly think, I honestly think that that might've fixed it. I think that might've fixed the entire issue. All I needed was just to roll my fences. Holy shit, this rain is loud. Right up here, there should be a pretty big bump that I think usually made it rub. Let's see if when we hit it this time, if it'll rub or not, but I don't think it will. Right on this bridge, right here. Hey, nothing, dude. Here's another one. <laughs> That's sick. All right, cool. So now I have a car that rides like stock, doesn't look stock, and it honestly, like, it, it feels good. Like. I, it rides a little bouncy still, but I mean, that's what I'm gonna get for using a blown set of fucking max speeding rods. But once I get my real coilovers, this thing's gonna be fucking mint. Oh, I'm so stoked. We're almost to the paint store. I can show you guys what I got. I have been thinking about streaming a little bit more. I did a, I did a stream last week. It was a pretty good time. We had a couple buddies in there playing some fucking, uh, some zombies and some Warzone and stuff, and it was pretty fun. But I think that I'm gonna start doing uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted because I want to try to beat the entire game in an IS 300 so we'll see we'll see I think that I'm probably gonna start streaming every Sunday probably like 8 o'clock and later and uh, Just hanging out chilling so if you guys want make sure to come by on Sundays on YouTube And I should be streaming all right back from the paint store And I got some shit Let's go inside and see what it is all right, so I got a bunch of stuff, but it mainly boils down to these guys. I've got an epoxy primer, a base coat, and a clear coat. This is actually gonna be my first time doing a base coat clear coat paint, and it's gonna be for something pretty special. Let's see what the color is. Oh baby, that's one CO, Millennium Silver for the IS300. So, that means that we got some parts for the IS300. Now, I'm not going to exactly tell you guys what, but they might be in that box, and there might be one right here, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't say anything. So, I think this week I'm going to try to start working on that and get that all painted and on the car. I still have copious amounts of work to do on the Eclipse, so that's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to be doing. But yeah, so if you guys like the content, if you guys like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe. I got plenty more stuff coming. This car is going to be a fucking absolute monster when it's done. The IS is going to be an absolute monster when it's done. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the like button. And if you guys want, come hang out on Sunday. I'll be streaming on YouTube from like 8 o'clock until like whenever I want to fucking finish it. Last stream lasted about two hours, but like if you guys want to hop in any lobbies and maybe get some Warzone going on, we could definitely do that. Make sure to stop by. 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 
We'll see you guys then. Thank you.